the Apache way is a set of behaviors and practices for long-lived success of projects focused on stable governance. All these slides are online. I'll, I'll post a link to my Twitter so you them. But these behaviors are required for Apache projects. If you listen to a bunch of Apache way presentations by different people, you will find some variation. People have adapted them in a lot. I take mine from the list that's posted on our website. Collaborative software development, people working together. It's not an individual effort, it's not a somebody who is, uh, who is a benevolent dictator. Commercial friendly standard license, uh, Daniel covered that a bit and got questions on it. Uh, the idea is you could take this stuff and put it in a proprietary product and ship it. All you have to do is say it came from us. Other than that, uh, you're free to do so. Consistently high quality software. We've got software that's been around for decades and uh, in use in our organization. A powering, very expensive thing. Respectful, honest, technical based interaction. Work in progress, sometimes unrespectful, but uh, in general, we've got individuals very directly uh, talking to one another, uh, focusing on technical stuff. Faithful implementation of standards. Uh, the Apache web servers uh, implement HTTPD. Uh, it's not meant to be uh, extended and great, et cetera. Security is a mandated feature. We've actually got a security group to help keep track and monitor. Uh, we do appropriate response time to security. Uh, I covered this a little bit earlier in the fireside chat. Meritocracy, it's about what you do, those that do decide. Uh, I may have been around longer than, as far as Apache goes, anyone in the room. That does not mean that I have more say than anybody else. Uh, and in particular, um, Daniel mentioned HPD. I have never participated in that project. He has more say than I do. Defined by the value you bring to the specific project, defined in the context of the project by the project community. Different projects have different needs. Those that, uh, those that fill those needs uh, tend to advance quite quickly. And you get married by doing things at a specific community value. You find out what holes there are in a specific project that other people see as holes and fill those holes. And you'll get a lot of uh, credibility quickly. Uh, the quote, career path in, within Apache, uh, lots and lots of people, users, probably everybody in this room, undoubtedly everybody in this room has used some of the Apache projects one way or another, whether they know it or not. It's on your cell phone. Contributor is the first big hurdle, and once you go there, it gets easier. Contributor just basically means you have sent an email to a mailing list. It really is not much more than that. That, the, that email could be a complaint, that could be a suggestion. Any way that ultimately makes the product better is a contributor. You do that enough, and you get voted in as a committee. Uh, there are project management committees uh, that manage each project. Uh, some project management committees, each committer is a member of the project management committee. Others have two tiers. Both models are okay with us. PMC has a chair, which is also a VP. That individual is responsible for sh uh, sharing status with the board, but in general does not have any specific additional responsibilities or privilege. They don't have any greater say than anybody else. ASF member, these are people that are recognized either for longevity in one project or participation in a large number of projects and, in essence, commitment to the ASF as a whole. And we have about, we have over 7,000 committers and about 700 members, so it's about a 10 to 1 ratio. Uh, you stick around long enough, you'll be named a member. And then we've got a board of directors, nine directors, three of which happen to be sitting in front of me. Leaders versus managers. In essence, Apache is not does not recognize an individual as a leader. Most everybody is a, is a individual. Merit does not buy you authority. Community must still agree. I may say something could be could happen, but I've got no more say than anybody else. Merit gives you privileges, commit access, voting on committers, etc. But it does not give you authority. Daniel mentioned this, marriage does not expire. I was active in Tomcat 20 years ago. I've not been active for quite a while. My merit in Tomcat still exists. Merit does not transfer. Being on one PMC does not give you standing in another. 
I don't have to be adding an HTTPD or PMC. Uh, but it goes with me. In other words, if I were to see my company and join another company, it stays with me. DSF works with people, not company. I, we don't care that you work for IBM or for Oracle or for Microsoft. It, it's who you are, not who the company you currently work for. All votes go in the same way. They said my vote is more than anybody else. Participate based on needs. You participate when you want to and when you can. There is no obligation to participate further. Community over code is something we've been spending hours. The, the idea that making the code better is important, but not more important than breaking the community. Not like we don't do both are important, but making certain that everybody in the community feels good about it, participate, is more important than trying to strive to be uh, the best by some measure. Everybody has their professional on what best is. And committers and members should hold one another with something that uh, requires constant vigilance, but uh, it is something that is the constant theme of the AS. We are all here. Consensus decision making, I won't read this chart in detail. Everything I get is posted online, but when we do votes, we formalize votes with plus one, minus one. And there's plus zero and minus zero, which says I sort of agree or sort of disagree, but don't walk based on that. And we, depending on the context of special rules on what minus one might mean uh, and how to resolve the issue. But most important here is decisions are made on a mailing list and all votes. Decision making consensus preferred, consensus within community chooses the best path forward or even a improvement your perfection may be someone else's so what's important is the community agrees contribution be blocked if it does not fit the project it needs work is not technically ready and breaks other things in the project there's plenty of ways in which to deal with things that are not quite ready but you still like to publish and there's other things like that. and those work can be brought back in the main line Decision making votes only when needed. Voting is a shortcut to move from forward in a timely manner, but in general, we don't do both. If someone puts a patch in, the code goes in. If no one objects, we can keep moving. No vote. The only thing that is, requires a mandatory vote is a release, an official vote. Voting is a way to report, report official consensus prior to that happens more often. Not too much. Time. Losing me again. Okay. Minimum time to make a decision: seventy-two hours. It's important to let everybody participate. Not everybody has availability on any one day or over weekend alike. Allows time shift input from community. We do have. I mentioned several times we don't have a lot of people in the Latina community here. We do have people in Australia. A fair number of them, as a matter of fact. Plenty in China. So time zones are important. So you don't post on a list and say three hours later, okay, I got enough votes, let's go on. You actually give people several days to participate in any, any significant decision. And when I say minimum notice that's, that's bolded, if you have any reason to believe that it might, if you have any reason to believe that it's important that others can participate, you give more time. Uh, it may go for a week or two. Decision making, no deadlines. We don't have any. Uh, releases happen when the code is ready. It's not like uh, a company where we say we're going to have a release on the page because it's important to meet our bottom line. If the, if the code's not ready, the release doesn't go out. Sometimes this creates comp complications with operations which often deal with deadlines. Tough. If a company wants the thing to go out on their deadline, they can take the code and they can ship it. Uh, it's, the code is still available. Um, but we don't drive our deadlines based on corporate needs. Open communication. Communication is done online. Um, this is an often contentious topic. You will find communication happens offline, too. Like this, I'm having a talk here, we'll have all talk, et cetera. No decisions are made offline. If you have something that you really think that the community should have input on, you can have offline discussions to work through some details, and I like to bring the proposal back to the list and you observe the minimum 72-hour 
um, a response time to let others participate. Email lists are preferred, preferred form of communications. Every project basically has a dev app. Uh, most have a commits app, and most have a users app. Separate mailing lists for handling um, development discussions, uh, tracking every single change that happens to the code, and participate in user. Most communications public archive, for all practical purposes, it's all communication. There are a handful of private lists uh, and, a, and a small number of those that are not archived. Uh, and the ones that are archived, every, any ASF member can, can see. So an ASF member can see private lists on every project. And most lists are open to any subscriber. We want you to participate. Uh, open development time shifting. Yes, we use mailing lists. Uh, in many ways, many people see that as old fashioned, uh, but we depend on it. And we, whenever we use something else, like Jira or something else, we make certain that the messages, the changes that happen on Jira are sent back to the mailing list. Asynchronous communication is critical. We need people who aren't available at that time to be able to go back and catch up. This first community, this first in space, abilities, expertise, motivation, and time. Text communications is usually a great way. Text communications is usually a great way to uh, uh, help reduce the barriers and make people more equivalent. And many people only know each other through the project. Uh, there's several people I've met uh, in the last week that I hadn't I've dealt with for decades or more, and I had never met before. Plenty of time. Open development collaboration. The mailing list are the official record. If it didn't happen on a list, it didn't happen. That's a quote you will see often on our website. Non-list discussions need to be reported to the list. I mentioned that last slide. If you have a hallway conversation, that's OK. If it's a hallway conversation that others should be aware of, you need to bring it back to the list. Uh, JIRA, SVN, GET, et cetera, count as comments and all copy the mailing. That's something our infrastructure team takes care of. All lists are archived permanently forever, Daniel said. Everything in Apache that can be public must be public. We do have a couple of specific exceptions, personnel, security, legal, and other delicate matters we discussed on private lists. So typically, the voting of a new committer is handled on a private list. That way, if it turns out the vote does not pass, it doesn't cause any ill will. Okay, archiving anything. Asynchronous lists provide time for feedback to take new ideas and others to share the work, allow newcomers to learn it. You can go back and see what you said on Tomcat here if the mailing list is still around. Transparent decision. Your motives are not relevant to the community. I don't care if your boss thinks it's important that this release happen. It's not relevant to me in any way, shape, or form. I asked that a technical lead or just by being a it may be important to you, you need to sell the community. Motivation should be best for the project as a whole. What makes HTBD a success? What makes Tomcat a success? do you name the project. The right way to work is telegraph your intent. Say what you're about to do before you do it. Draft design's open. Don't just, here's a, here's a fix. You actually describe what you're about to do. Submit work in chunk. I think to make cases where someone goes offline uh, for a fair amount of time and comes back with a completed solution that does not allow others to put Commit. I prefer to commit daily, uh, if not more frequent. There are a couple of cases I remember a you way back when had a major thing that was done offline. HPD had it done offline, and it can happen, but it's not our preferred way of operating. Welcome feedback along the way. People will have comments. They'll have improvement. Responsible oversight, small commits, peer reviewed. Security is mandatory. We've got things that open a hole in HTBD or Hadoop or you name the project. That's going to be very important and very visible. Uh, a couple of years back, we had an issue with Equifax. Things happened. But we addressed them openly, honestly, up front. Ensure license compliance. It's very tempting to use another project, but if the other project has a license that's incompatible with ours, um, that you need to make certain you use it in the way the other licenses structure. Uh, 
GPL was a question before. If an Apache project were to depend on a GPL project, that would require the Apache project to release out of the GPL library. So in general, that doesn't work. Uh, Daniel mentioned that as a one-way compatibility. You can do it the other way around. Release only high-quality software, releases both for release code, et cetera. And no abuse of Apache brand or community. Quite often we find a company thinks it's a good idea to take advantage of one of our projects because it's, it's perceived important. And we monitor and enforce that pretty carefully. And it's, it's the, most of that responsibility falls on the individual projects. What kind of community do we mean? We don't live together, we don't work together, we don't know each other from there, except through our project. Community includes developers, writers, testers, system in, dev apps, and users. So the community is the whole set. It's everybody that contributes to the success of the project. So it's not just the people who are writing the code. So if you wish to participate, find a way in which you can participate, and please do so. No jerks allowed. That's actually a quote. And in a minute, I'll show a, a link to a YouTube video where we've got people who have given presentations on this. Apache communities value group contributors, not lone wolf, not individuals who say, I, I can take care of them. Diverse communities attract more new contributors over time. And BDFL, benevolent indicator for life is a model that some projects support, and we do not allow it at the patch. Uh, someone who is the ultimate decision maker. Uh, Python uh, was famously had a BDFL for a number of years. We recently stepped down from that role. Uh, Ruby on Rails got another. That's not a model that we have at the patch. Be excellent to each other. Quote from Bill. Communication style, don't be a jerk of poisonous people. There's actually a YouTube video I highly recommend watching it. The link to the slides will be online under my Twitter, you'll, and you'll be able to find it. You can click through to the um, YouTube video or actually just simply Google that thing. Uh, it actually has got recipes for dealing with poisonous people. You can't always solve them, but there are techniques that do help minimize the issue. Uh, so. We have a code of conduct. People can be poisonous without violating a code of conduct, but violating a code of conduct is ultimately definitely considered poisonous. We have ways of dealing that, with that, and people do report to ultimately report to myself, president, and there's a list of five other people you can report, uh, who will work these issues to the satisfaction of the person who reports. We take those things very seriously. Community, wear your hat. You're an individual, not an employee. And my my association with IBM has no relevance. No corporate participation at a patch. Quite often, I get I see people doing presentations and like and I talking about well, IBM did this and IBM did that at Apache. No, IBM did not do that at Apache. I did. Individuals get recognition. Side effect for corporate teams: all team members must participate separately. The idea of a IBM getting together and taking an IBM position, that, that's not good, uh, not acceptable. Um, each individual participates on the list as a peer. Side effect for you, your merit stays with you. Many people leave companies, it happens, and you join another company. You wish to continue participating in the project, you still have that merit. That goes with you. Um, three board members, I'm president. If I were to leave a company or the three of them were to leave a company, their position goes with them. That's the way we are. Check affiliations at the door. Another way of saying it is I'm not talking about a hierarchy because we don't have one. Each project is separate. Each volunteer with the same power. And your PMC doesn't care what your day job role is. Many of these things were stolen from three individual credit. Basically done. Thank you for the question. 